In today's A-Level IB Biology video, we're going to be discussing all things related to modes of nutrition. So obviously nutrition is all to do with what we eat. So we'll be looking at the different ways employed by different species. Broadly speaking, there are two main modes, two main categories of nutrition. The first one is autotrophic and the second is heterotrophic. To give you a basic summary of what these two feeding types are, autotrophs effectively make their own food, whereas heterotrophs have to obtain their food from other organisms. And as a result, heterotrophs can be broken down and further subcategorized into saprotrophs, consumers, and finally detrivores. So the beginning part of this video is just getting you guys used to the fact that there are two main types of nutrition, autotrophic, which is all to do with organisms making their own food, and heterotrophs, which effectively have to consume other organisms, and they are further subcategorized into saprotrophs, consumers, and detrivores. So the rest of this video will be spent looking at these terms in greater detail. So the autotrophs, which we know make their own food. And so effectively, we're really looking at plants. And if we look at photosynthesis in plants, remember we take carbon dioxide, it's reacted with the water that is absorbed by the plant roots, and it produces glucose and oxygen as a byproduct. I'll just balance that equation quickly. They do need a source of energy, and that's always light, remember. And through the complex process of photosynthesis, they can synthesize all the carbon containing compounds that they need. And here's the first one, glucose. So just to write out that word equation for you, plants take the carbon dioxide, they react it with water, they produce glucose and oxygen. Remember that glucose can be used to make things like cellulose, which is the sugar found in their cell walls. It has a support function, they can make starch, which is obviously a storage compound. And now in order to make sure that plants are healthy, they have to absorb several different minerals through their roots. Those minerals include nitrates, which are needed to make proteins, magnesium, which is needed to make chlorophyll. But yes, plants are supremely clever at making their own food. Next up, heterotrophs, which we know obtain their food from other organisms. Those other organisms bodies will contain things like protein and starch and remember the heterotrophs they need to digest these proteins more often than not to make soluble food products which can actually be absorbed. Let's take the three modes of heterotrophic nutrition in turn which I've already mentioned. The first one is the saprotroph. So here's a summary of saprotrophs. Notice there are the name is decomposers and included in this group are both the fungi and bacteria. So how do they actually feed? Well, crucially, they feed on dead matter. So that could be leaves, wood, or actually dead animals or feces for that matter. They secrete enzymes extracellularly. So that means that they secrete these enzymes outside of their body, which help to digest these food products before that they are absorbed. So protein, cellulose, and other organic products are digested externally and then absorbed. The second heterotroph we need to discuss now are the consumers. As the name suggests, they take in foodstuffs by the process of feeding, i.e. ingestion. Now, this will vary depending on the animal. Sometimes the organism is swallowed whole or in parts. It may be alive, it may be dead. And notice some of these consumers will be herbivores, which eat plant matter only, e.g. a rabbit that eats grass. They could be omnivores, which means they eat a variety of different substances, both animal and plant matter. A good example here is us as humans or pigs. Carnivores, carny meaning meat, eat meat alone, such as a cheetah. Notice that alive or dead comment I made. A good example of an animal which eats dead matter only is a vulture. Remember, it's a scavenger, so it only eats carrion. Lastly, the detrivores. Now, detrivores... Notice that they obtain organic nutrients, so ones containing carbon, from dead material, and they do that by internal digestion. Dead material is known as detritus. That dead material can include any number of things, such as poo, so feces, decomposing animals, dead leaves. Let's list some examples now, so earthworms, millipedes, and wood lice. 